All right. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. <clears throat> I want to talk about ordination. Are you ordained to preach? Uh, are, you, uh, are you ordained to preach? My God. Hallelujah. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost that brought something back to me. Are you ordained to preach? Where's your proof? Where's your proof? Where's your certificate? Where's your license? Where's your doctorate degree? Where your seminary letter at? Where a man proved you was ordained? Where your elders license? Who made you a bishop? You have ordination in your, in your, in your church. Where's the proof that you've been ordained? Where is the proof? My God. Where is the proof of your ordination? Show me your license. First Timothy two seven. Hold on, just let me hear. First Timothy two and seven. Mm -hmm. But even before that, even before that, Ephesians four, chapter four, and he gave some apostle, prophet, pastor, evangelist. It says he. It didn't say bishop. It didn't say apostle. Timothy 2 and 4. Well, here it is, 2 and 7. Timothy 2 and 7. That 2 and let's start 2 and 5. And there is one God and one mediator between God and me and the man Christ Jesus. The man Christ Jesus is the mediator between God and man. You say Jesus is not the Son of God, you're not ordained to do nothing but sit down and shut your mouth. You are ordained to go to hell for lying. Who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. Whereunto I am ordained a preacher and an apostle. I speak the truth in Christ, Christ and lie not. Do you tell lies? Do you lie on scripture? Do scripture what say one thing? You say something different from scripture? You're not ordained to do nothing. You're not ordained. A teacher of the Gentile in faith and verity. Ordained to preach. Get it. Who laid hands on you and ordained you? Who did that? Whoever you point to that laid hands on you, whatever your degree, you got your degree papers from seminary, you got your license. Let me see. This is license. This is not proof of ordination. This is not proof that I am ordained by Jesus. This is not proof. 
for a man gave that to me. This is not proof. Where his name at? Bishop J. H. Lyle Jr., Jr. General Secretary. He didn't ordain me. Bishop C. L. Blake Sr., presiding bishop. He didn't ordain me. They name on this. Jesus name ain't on this. You know you can't talk like that if you if you're not truly ordained. You can't talk like that. Yes, you should know there's no labor among you. And actually, that's the purpose of the license I got in the preacher jail pastor Junior laying hands on me. And the ordination board approving me. Yeah, that is to know me that labor among you. But they do that to Ed, they do that to false prophets too. So that's not no that's not proof of no ordination from ordained ordained by Jesus. How can they hear without a preacher? How can how can they preach except they be sent? Your blue and gold card, your license, your certificate, your seminary. But preacher laying hands on you, bring you before the public and laying hands on you. That ain't no proof that you are dang. Ooh. God told Moses to ordain Joshua in his place. He didn't tell Moses to ordain the one that brought a bad report. He didn't tell Moses to ordain the false prophet. Your license, your certificate, don't prove, ain't no proof that you are ordained by God. All right, First Timothy five. Boy, I love this. I love this. Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in word and doctrine. Do your labor in word and doctrine. Word and doctrine is the same thing. Do your labor in word and doctrine. Do what you preach is what you preach is. Or is it something different? If it's different, you're not ordained. This is good. Go to him one. I charge you before God and Lord Jesus Christ and the elect angel that thou observe these things without preferring one before another. Do nothing by partiality. Don't you have no respect to person? If someone come to you and tell you, God ordained me a minister, God called me to preach the gospel, don't show no partiality because they because they don't have no lot no whole lot of money. Don't you deny them, but the one that hold, have, have a good job and an entrepreneur and all their own business, you all, you lay hands on them. Because they pay big tithes and offer. You lay hands on them. But the one that don't have all that big money, pay all them reports. The one that ain't kissing your butt, you tell them, no, no, you ain't my favorite. Boy, this word is right, boy. Woo! Mm. Observe these things without preferring one before another. Do everybody right. Doing nothing by partiality, showing partiality. Lay hands suddenly on no man. Need to be partaker of other men's sins. Keep thyself poor. Pure. A sinner. You got sin. You ain't ordained. You ain't ordained. 
24. Some men see it all open beforehand. You already know they like. You know they are sinner. Don't ordain them. See, see. You see. I see what it is. Push, oh, okay. You see. Yeah, you can't ordain them. You know they like. Don't ordain them. Get them false prophets out of your church. Preacher. Bishop Blake. Bishop David Hall, Drew Shea, Bishop Palliser, Bishop Hawkins, Bishop Anderson, Bishop Dickerson Well, I'm naming all of them. If I did call your name, get them far private out of your chest. You know they see it. Boy. Some men see it on beforehand, going before the judgment. And some men, they fall after. And sometimes you'll, you'll get the news later on. Don't be so quick to, oh, this is a, this is a competition. God called me to do this. I'm this, I'm this. You better check them out first. The Bible say, you 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 check those. You try it though, they say it to our positive files, them lying. To prove your ordination, it's the gospel you preach and the life you live. That's the proof of your ordination. Not your paper, your license, your degrees. Not the bishop laying hands on you. That ain't proof of your ordination. The proof of your ordination, the words you preach and the life you live. <laughs> That's enough. God bless your heart real good. Hallelujah.